Police killing of black teen girl wielding gun, wielding knife triggers protest before facts. That's our topic report. And I would, I, I'm going to call this in the video that you're watching. 15 year old black teen shot by cops after wielding knife dies. Now, this is another one of these stories where, well, we have a situation that we hear the news. Black person killed by cop. Let's go riot. That's that's all it is. And and God bless this young girl. I, I don't know circumstances of whether she quote unquote should have been shot or not, whether she was truly threatening the life of others, but let's 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 look into this. This is a subject uh Micaiah Bryant Columbus, Ohio police shooting. Protesters take to streets after police shoot kill teen holding knife in Columbus, Ohio. That's from Wysock. TV. Now, I'm going to read all these headlines first, and then we're going to go back and look a little bit deeper. Deeper Body cam video of Columbus police officer shows shots fired to prevent stabbing of another person. That's from Red State, right-leaning, so they have their agenda. This one's, uh, so far, the first one I picked because it was uh, somewhat neutral, and it had, like, kind of both perspectives in one headline. Protests erupt in Ohio after police kill black teenage girl. This is from Yahoo News. Which which part of Yahoo News? Is, which which one are you? Let's, let's see. This is really uh, for Reuters. It's really Reuters. Okay, Reuters. <clears throat> Shame on you, Reuters. This is absolutely intending to incite people to violence. This is this is a form of uh, news terrorism. Is what this is. This is feeding a narrative that you know will get people to go out and do horrible things. And at this point. There's no excuse because you know the people that go out, there's a percentage of them, a significant enough percentage of them uh, to, to, to warrant this uh, being careful how you pro phrase things that are burning businesses down as a response. Ohio shooting, Columbus police shoot, de shoot dead black teenage girl. Sh Ohio shooting, Columbus police shoot dead black teenage girl from BBC UK. Yeah, that's another horrible headline. That's You're just... Uh, no context, nothing at all. Just throw it out there. Police kill a black teen girl. And, and you know, that you get that emotional appeal to black, not just black, not just teen, but girl. And believe you me, it's it's more shocking when it's a girl than a boy. And I'm not saying whether that's good, bad, or anyways, it just is. And it culturally, socially, whatever, it just is. So, And they know that. The people writing these headlines know darn well that they're inciting people to violence at this point. There's really little excuse for these people. Columbus police shot, quote, unarmed, unquote, Micaiah Bryant. And this is from the right. And this is, uh, let's see who you are. You're Breitbart. So that's Breitbart. And uh, the, the quote is around the unarmed. So so that the, the, apparently that's the initial claim is that, oh, no, unarmed girl just a shot an, an unarmed person. Now, on the other side of it, I wanted to highlight this. Columbus cop shouted Blue Lives Matter to neighbors after colleague shot teenage black girl Micaiah Bryant from the Daily Beast. Now, if this I don't know whether this is true or not, because this is the Daily Beast and it's 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 pretty far out there. Uh, so. I, I, I'm, I'm willing to believe it, though, and the tensions being as they are, I, I, if they, if they, if the cop did make that comment, this, this, uh, responding to injustice, if, if, if in fact the cops shot her justly, and then they're being accused of not shooting them unjustly, responding to injustice with injustice is wrong, and a cop shouting "Blue Lives Matter" to me, in after a shooting, is is a fundamental dereliction of duty because you serve all, even even the people who hate you, you serve people who hate you. You have to. Otherwise, we can't have police. Fatal police shooting at Ohio Hospital caught on officer body cams. That's pretty, pretty, very, very neutral and will invite you to uh, find out more information. So I kind of like that headline. Initial, an initial headline before you get the facts. Columbus police shooting. Police shoot, kill teenage girl holding knife in Ohio. And there's another one. Kill teenage girl. At least you didn't say black because you know black is really going to trigger because because that's what that's the first question is. Well, was she black or was she white? There was uh, I saw something recently where they had these. They were all mostly white, and they look like you know well-to-do whites uh, doing a, a march or something. They hear about the news of a, of a of a of a of a teenager getting shot by the police, shot and killed by the police, and uh, and they took to one knee and the very religious event that they that, that spontaneously held and then they went to go march and then they realized oh it's a white guy 
don't worry about the white guy. By the way, somebody made a comment recently saying that white people will be for police reform if if police start shooting white people. They shoot white people all the time. The problem is that the media doesn't carry those stories because that doesn't fill their narrative that they're only shooting black people. Now, I'm, I'm not defending the police. I'm not saying that there isn't a problem in policing and police being uh, the way that I view it more afraid of black people than they are white people and more likely to shoot them. I don't know whether that's true or not. I am 90 plus percent certain it probably is. So, so I do think there's a legitimate issue there, but police shooting white people all the time and they don't get the coverage because that doesn't fit the narrative. So there you go. That's basically how I wanted to cover this is essentially covering how the headlines were, were dealt with as this story unfolds We'll probably do more and we may even look at the video itself and, and, and do an analysis, but that's not the purpose of this report. This report really is the initial analysis of the types of headlines that these news outlets are creating right before we know anything at all. And I don't even know if, uh, if you look at the body cam footage, the degree to which that's going to answer any questions right off the bat, because you can have questions about even if she was wielding a knife and she was swinging a knife, which those are reports. Was, was was shooting her the only only action there's there's debates to be had there's questions to be had was she really shot because she was black there's a lot of questions to be asked who who were the people that shot him maybe they were black folks themselves by the way even if you're black and you're a cop doesn't mean that you're still not susceptible to the same type same type of at the very least stigmatizations that put put more black people at risk than white people in, in conflicts if, if that's true and I believe that is so there you have it 